Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and a special what's up to TSC members. www.theshavingcadre.com. Guess what day it is? It's Monday. Yay! Chris video. Gear Noir on the Shaving Cadre. Um, man, so many things happened this week. I don't think I'm going to be able to cover it all in 45 minutes. Just kidding. <laughs> it's not going to be that long. Hopefully. First things first. <clears throat> so I did the... Uh, Raised flat bottom from Gillette, um, their pass around at the TSC. Got done with that, decided the new long comb was a little bit more my style, but uh, that razor is going to be sent back with the plethora of others that I need to send back to Mr. John, the monkey on the TSC. And right after I finished that video, last week's video on Monday, guess what? My next pass around box came in. And it was originally, let me get started. I'm using Cella today. Got my Razor Rock Big Bruce. I'm going to just stand there yapping at you with no action. But anyway, uh, John started a different pass round. <clears throat> this one was actually before the RFB, but uh, the RFB happened to have a shorter list, so I got that first. <laughs> but this was for a... Um, Feather Shavette Clone. That's the Artist Club style blades. And he wanted to get folks' opinion. They were cheap online, I guess. So I think he said he bought two. One for himself and one for a pass around and to piff away. Or PIF. Uh, pay it forward. But, um, so I was hesitant to do that sign up. Got peer pressured because I'm the one that actually, out of the cadre, uses an AC style shave vet the most. I actually have a Feather SS, which is what this clone is supposed to be modeled after. It's supposed to be cloning. Um, Well, I started that Tuesday, got a couple shaves in with it. I'll show you here in a second. Let me build my lather first. And, um, interesting. It is definitely a clone, that's for sure. I was I'm always kind of hesitant. I mean, there's some real high quality clones coming out of places like China, but in something as serious as an open blade, I'm kind of taking a big risk, <clears throat> especially with quality. Okay, there's that. I will not be shaving with the Feather Clone actually today, but I'll show it to you here. I don't know if John got these scales on it or <clears throat> himself or they came with it. I think they might have come with it. But anyway, nice, decent wood scales. Um, I think John, well, maybe John did it. I can't remember. But anyway, there it is. Looks, <clears throat> by all accounts, exactly like the Feather SS. It's even got the little bump at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see it where the um, the edge has that little guard. But as you can also see, it's got some QC issues. The feather, for the most part, this area fits flush. This is where you open it up to get inside and clean inside the blade system. And it's held together by a little clip. It clips just fine, but the actual clip spring in there is really loose. Um, this door slides super easy, actually. Not enough during the shave to make a difference, but <clears throat> and then you can see other QC issues there. You can see kind of the line where the mold was. If I think this is a mold injected razor. Um, a little bit different composition than the Feather SS itself. This has actually got some kind of shine to it, maybe some kind of coating on it. Um, actually made it smoother than the Feather, but the major problem with this clone besides the couple QC issues, is that 
This actually has less blade exposure than the Feather SS. And when you're dealing with that bump uh, toward the edge of the clip there, that's a problem. It means you have to take a much steeper angle instead of being able to go flatter against the skin. And it was actually pretty harsh for me. Um, I think the only person that really enjoyed it is actually going to be able to um, <clears throat> get a good shave out of it so far has been Dave in Kentucky. But And then I got this other one that got added to the pass around as it went around from, I think, less um, GVW or GW something on the shaving cadre. Sorry, Les, I can't remember your username. It's a long string of characters and numbers, random to me. But anyway, this is a Kai clone, um, another AC style. That's what I'm gonna be shaving with today. And I actually got to shave with a Feather DX, which is very similar to this, although this is a Camasori type. First Camasori type I've ever used. And different company that made the clone though. But this is a lot, a lot better of a shave. Is that how you say that? This is a much better shave um, than the Feather SS clone was. This feels almost like the Feather SS should. It doesn't have the bump, the kind of guard that the Feather S has, has at the end of the clip holder. It's more of a wedge type, I guess. But um, the Feather DX, which is kind of like a wedge type, is a nice shave, but the way it's machined, doesn't feel like it has any kind of coating. It's just solid machining. And um, <clears throat> the coating on this razor, whatever, it might be chromed something, but it's got that nice uh, little gold. Not real gold, of course, but whatever plating on it. actually smooths the shave out quite a bit. You can get a much better angle, a shallower angle with this razor than with the Feather Clone. And uh, being an open blade, for the most part, for most people, um, you want a nice shallow angle from about 10 degrees, anywhere up to maybe 30 degrees. And that'll help really smooth out the shave for you. You have less chance of cutting yourself as long as you're doing your proper skin stretching. And all that. So first Camasori style ever used. Very intuitive. Um, honestly, just as nice a shave as the Feather SS probably. Though I do prefer that folding um, style. It's considered like a, a Western style because it, you can cut on either side. And then folding style because it has the scales like the Feather SS. So this is a folding style, not a camisori. Um, but I've had some good shaves with it, much more enjoyable than the Feather Clone that started the pass around. Uh, QC issues still has some, the camisori still has some QC issues inside the holder, but not nearly as much as the SS Clone. Everything's pretty solid. It's just got some extra plastic bits here and there that could have been shaved off or whatever molded metal. So, interesting. I could probably pick one of these up. 
uh, and be happy with it. Um, I do like my real feather SS. The um, guard bump that it has does help smooth out the shave and it's a little bit easier to use. You do have to be very careful still um, of the angle you're coming in at with this thing. I've only had a couple small nicks so far, whereas the Feather Clone, I don't think I got any nicks, but it was just a really tuggy grabby shave. <clears throat> So at some point, hopefully this week, after I finish my time with this, these are going to go off to Mr. Lucky, or Matt, on the TSC. He's the last person in the pass around. Yeah, oops, I gotta do this too. And we'll see what he thinks about it. So far, like I said, Dave in Kentucky is the one that enjoys the feather clone. A lot of folks enjoy this one. Um, and I agree with that assessment, particularly With just be between these two razors. But this is not a bad choice. It is about, I think, half as cheap as a Feather SS. But it seems really nice quality. Like I said, it's got the nice uh, chrome or whatever this is layer of plating. This is actually a rubberized handle, which I enjoy more than the hard scale Feather um, scales but because those are just hard plastic and not a little bit grippy this is grippy and the only thing i don't really like about this i mean i could get along with the camisori style but the camisori style naturally for some reason makes me to want it makes me want to grip it more which is dangerous especially for a unguarded open blade because you want that light pressure to almost no pressure and the folding style really for me helps facilitate that so you would normally hold the folding style like this that's how I would do it you got just fingertips for the most part and you're going around your face whereas the camisori type you feel more like you want to do this or you got you got it in this and it just you get more control and you get more power in your stroke, but um, there's more room for error if you're not careful, I'd say. So, plus that. Wow, 13 minutes. Anyway, so thanks for John and Wes for lending out those razors. Upstanding gentlemen. But I have to say that for the original intent of the pass around, the clone pass around, the Camisori style wins out, and the Feather SS clone is not as good of a shave as the actual Feather SS, and probably not worth a purchase, at least in my book. <clears throat> so, haven't tried against the grain yet with this. Uh, we'll see what happens. You might be have some bloodshed today. We'll see. But, um, fortunately, this blade is decently used. Helps not be quite so sharp. A 
What else is going on this week? So many things. Um, at the beginning of the week, I had an interview for a ministry position at a place. I'll just say it's in Mississippi. And uh, I won't say exactly where, but or what church it is with the church. And um, that was just Monday. And today, actually, and throughout the last week, things were going so well in our communication that we're today supposed to be solidifying plans to fly out and visit this place, which will be really interesting. Um, it could decide a lot of things, depending on how that goes. Uh, we've had great phone conversations, but... Um, Hopefully things will just go just as smoothly in person. It's always the hope, right? So against the grain up here was a little rough. Could have been how used the blade is. The blade's probably got like I don't know, seven or eight shaves on it total, but could also be because I haven't really done that yet. Open blades take a lot of practice. Figuring out angles to do things. Anyway, interview, yes. Flying out to Mississippi, hopefully in a couple weeks. Me and the missus. We're very excited at that prospect that we have largely been California kids most of our life. Should be interesting. It'll be an adventure is what we're selling it to, to our boys. And um, they are slowly becoming more excited at the prospect. There will be a lot of logistics, of course, involved. Uh, if something does happen and things continue to move forward, like, oh, on earth we're going to move everything over there, a dog and a house, and we got to sell the house that we got here, and... That'll be something. A lot of variables, but I think if it's meant to be, it'll happen. We are confident in that. Kind of seeing how things play out. I think that's going to do it for today. Not BBS everywhere, but good solid DFS. Don't want to push it and have an accident. I did have my game changer, 0.68. I'm back up if needed, but we're not going to need it. So, let me pause you. I'll be right back. All right, there's that. Just did a lather soak, nice cold water rinse. Got my witch hazel on, generic witch hazel. Now I'm going to do some Thayer's. Thayer's medicated, Nurse Dave. 
<laughs> Other things that are happening so much. This was a heck of a week. Yesterday, some of you probably saw that having drainage issues. Sunday evenings are when I start some laundry loads. And normally it drains slow and I got to keep it from coming back up the drain spout and all that kind of stuff. But today, instead of backing up into the sink and coming up the drain pipe and then slowly going down, it didn't go down at all. So that was a problem. I had a, my boss actually from church out who's uh, much more knowledgeable in general maintenance than I am, came and helped us out, cleared out the drain, and uh, well, we didn't clear it out. We got it a little less clogged, and um, well, we raised a rock, the stallion, nice oud and spice kind of vibe, strong, cologne type, really nice. So that happened, and I put in some mainline drain cleaner he recommended overnight, and I washed that out this morning, so I'm going to do another little laundry today. Cross my fingers, hopefully that took care of it. If not, I don't know. Um, we did an auger line um, down the um, drainage pipes, and we hit something, but we didn't clear it. I think we just pushed it a little and broke it up a tad but we weren't able to pull anything out or clear anything completely. So there was that. And then what else? My Maglite LED, my nice fancy Maglite crapped out on me. And gosh, so many things. <sighs> Our, my faucet in the kitchen has been dripping real slowly and uh, we thought it was something to do with the water pressure and Finally, last night, it just stopped working almost completely. It was just barely dripping, even when it was full on. And out of desperation, we searched YouTube, and my wife found a video, one video, on that certain faucet that we have. It's like a, one of those hose faucets you can extend out and wash a little bit better and has a couple different settings and whatnot. But evidently, in that extension hose, there's this little filter system uh, on top of the other filter systems faucet uh, kitchen faucets normally have so you have to take apart this plastic piece and it builds up with all this corrosion and stuff so I spent like 10 minutes cleaning that out and lo and behold we had pressure like it pipes were brand new hallelujah <laughs> anyway it was a heck of a week heck of a day yesterday figuring out all those problems I didn't get anything done I got a teaching I'm supposed to do on first on Jonah chapter one this Thursday and I'm just barely starting that and so I got to get to that I'm gonna let you guys go because now we're over 20 minutes and uh, anything anything whatever I was gonna say anyway catch up on the rest of my week hopefully it goes better on www.theshavingcadre.com it's been nice to talk with you thanks for hanging out if you hang out this long if you didn't I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. What's wrong with us? Our relationship? I'm just kidding. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Have a great week. Bye.